Hi, it's Joe again. In the past couple of tutorials, we've created a dungeon. Basically, we've got a couple of rooms here, but all of these rooms are a fairly simple geometric shape. Straight sides, nice and clean. While that really suits probably 90% of the rooms in your dungeon, there are times when you want to create very customised rooms with curved walls and all sorts of unusual shapes. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to do that. But in order to do that, we're going to have to first of all understand a little bit more about sheets and layouts. Now you've used sheets before, using this button here to activate a set of sheets to give your dungeon a great look. But we have not yet used what we call layers. You can see the layers up here. And it's really important that you understand the difference between sheets and layers to get the most out of dungeon designer and campaign cartographer. The difference between sheets and layers can be thought of like this. Sheets affect how objects on your map are drawn. It really describes where they're drawn within regards to each other, which ones come on top of each other and which ones go below, and any special effects. Whereas layers actually just group objects together. You can think of layers as, as a grouping command. Any items or objects or shapes that you put onto a specific layer can all be accessed together or as part of that layer cluster. Every time you select an object to place on your map, it will be given a layer and a sheet. You can always see what the current layer and sheets are by looking at these two areas on your screen. In this case, we have still got the grids sheet selected and we've got the layers for temples and statues selected. When you place a room down, let's actually start to place one down now, you'll notice that the layer automatically changes to background floors 1 and the sheet automatically changes to the floors sheet. And then of course we could draw our floor and it will be on the correct floors sheet and correct floors 1 background layer. Well that's great if you're just doing something automatically, but if you're using manual functions to create your own highly specific rooms, you need to go through and make sure that you have got the right sheets and layers selected. Let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, before we do anything, I'm going to get rid of that, that floor that we just quickly threw down there. That was using the undo button, of course. Now we've got our empty space. You've noticed that since we're no longer dropping down our floor, our layers and our sheets have gone back to what they were before we started that operation. We're now back to our temples and statues and our grid sheets. Let's first of all change the layers. You do this by coming up to the layers area and then right clicking. Oops, sorry, left clicking. <laughs> and that will give you a list of all of the layers in the system. Now, this list is defined again by the template that you selected to start with and is completely customizable. If you click in this box here, whatever layer you click will become the active layer. In other words, anything that you put down manually will go there. Well, we're going to start dropping down some walls actually, so I'm going to change ourselves to the walls layer. The second button here will actually hide a layer, so everything that is being set as being on this layer will be hidden. And the last option that you've got, the little box here, if you click this, that will fix or freeze the layer, which means that you can see it, but you can't edit it. This is a great tool for being able to work on only some objects and not others while you can view everything. Okay, we've got our walls layer selected here, and we'll, I'm, I'm actually going to freeze every other layer in the system. That way our grid and our background and other things won't get in the way while we're doing some working. Click on OK. Just to speed things up, I'm also going to turn off our sheets display. There we go. It'll just make the drawing a bit faster. Now let's come over to the sheets. The sheet that we want for the walls is, of course, called walls. Uh, the, if you click in this box here, you will activate that as the current sheets that you've got in use. The little box over here will let you hide an entire sheet and everything connected to that sheet. We've used that in the past for affecting how our grids display. For the moment, we're just going to have walls selected. 
there you go you can now see that we've got a layer walls and our sheets are walls okay we're all set to start drawing we've got the right layers and sheets set up so let's plan to draw our room in here however before we start to actually do the drawing we have got a map grid this this grid is part of the map drawing and all those dark lines are actually getting in the way they're, they're confusing me a little bit we could turn these off by using the sheets because they're attached to a sheet by hiding the grid sheet layer that they're on th sorry the grid sheet that they're on or we can hide the specific grid layers that they're on let's come up here find the grid layers and we'll mark them as hidden both of these grids will now be hidden as you can see bingo it's gone we've still got the dots showing us our editor grid that can help us snap to the right place but all of those dark lines which were drawn on the map have disappeared